the world is, is not as clean as you think it is. They, uh, how I, let me tell you a different story. How I learned that lesson is important. My first company, I founded that company, and then, but in the, in the founding of it, I had this sort of, well, it was probably 30 years older than I was, fellow that sort of helped me with a little bit of it. He was, um, he smoked really heavily. He called the girls, or the, the, the ladies, the women that worked for us, honey. Um, he had a bunch of problems, but he was loyal. Ultimately, I got suggested, and I accepted the suggestion that we ought to let him go and get a, a, a real CFO. Um, that CFO was dishonest. It was incredibly painful because he was really smart. Um, I lived in a really old house about 45 minutes from where the, where the business was, and uh, it was built in 1720. Washington was in the house. <laughs> and uh, I moved to this house closer to work, and it turned out it was, it was, a, it was the same price, but it looked a lot better. It was, it was a really wonderful house. And he made it look like I had, had embezzled money from the company to buy this grand new house, which was only, by the way, one minute from work. So I didn't spend all this time commuting, and I could spend more time at work. But it wasn't true. But that's how I got fired. It's not why I deserve to get fired. <laughs> but so, so was the other person the right person? Probably the, the loyalty to that person would have, been, would have been worth holding on to. And it was a lesson I learned the hard way. So um, by fanatically uh, ethical, it is, there's really no reason to ever compromise on that. I mean, there's a right way to do things. There's a right way to treat people. Um, you know, at Finisar, we don't really care if you're gay or straight, black or white, male or female. Um, we just care if you're good. And if you are, welcome. And, and if you're really good, go ahead and leave. You know, all of us will sign up for, for early euthanasia. <laughs> Take over. So, but it, it takes that spirit because you want the best for your company. If you don't, you won't, you know, you won't attract the best. And, and so people understand if it's an ethical environment right away. And I, it, it's something they just, you know, people you know, innately gravitate to. And, and it's a, so you just got to build it early and never, never step off of it.